Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T. So I want to come on here and talk about the whole LaShawn McCoy and Delisa Cordon situation. Natasha K did a live stream the other day. And she was like, you know what? I'm going to just let lovely T break that shit down, okay? So if you guys don't know, about a week and a half ago, all of a sudden this picture went viral all over social media of this Instagram model with her face beaten up. She's bloodied and bruised. Her so-called friend posted this on her Instagram page. And they accused LaShawn McCoy of the Buffalo Bills of beating her. And in that Instagram post, the friend was saying that he's the devil. He's going to get his karma. That he not only beat her, but he also beat her kid. He kicked the dog. Um, the dog had kidney failure. She was spilling all this tea that LaShawn supposedly did. But neither her or the girlfriend ever went to the police when he was beating on the child or beating the dog, okay? So I seen a lot of people posting this. A lot of folks ran to his instagram page to convict him to go off on him to call him a woman beater people kept tagging me and if you guys look at my instagram page i did not post this picture not one time okay as you guys know i am the queen of damn discernment i felt like the story was bullshit from day one I'm not buying this and I was not going to convict anybody until there was more information. Unlike other YouTubers, I don't need to be first to put out a story with no backstory, no information. You know what I'm saying? Looking for clickbait and bullshit like that. I'd rather sit, watch the damn tea simmer and then come back with a damn flashback or some shit, okay? But anyways, in this situation, I didn't want to do a video right away and that's what I was telling Tasha. I feel like there was more to the story and now your girl t Damas was right. More information is definitely coming out about this situation and everything sounds like a whole bunch of bullshit if you ask me, okay? So initially when everything went down, um, when Delisa was on the couch getting her ass whooped, she told the 911 operators that she was sure that LaShawn was behind this and that the people came looking for the jewelry. They were telling her to take off her watch and her jewelry and everything else. She's swerping down that he had something to do with this, but now as of today, her attorney is retracting some of that statement and they're saying that they can't be for certain if LaShawn had something to do with this situation. I'm gonna go ahead and read this to you guys. Check this out. So during the 911 call, she says, he took a diamond bracelet off my wrist and he kept asking for the jury. I think it has something to do with my ex-boyfriend. Now, as of today, her attorney, Tanya Mitchell Graham, is basically stating this. In a clarification to ESPN's Michael Roddick, Graham insisted that there's been no backtracking on Cordon's account. However, Graham says her client suspects Mr. McCoy has something to do with it, but Cordon is not directly blaming Mr. McCoy without more evidence. And during the 911 call, a distraught Cordon expressed her fear that her former boyfriend was watching her through the home security system. She says, ma'am, I have cameras all outside my house and my boyfriend who I feel did this, who set me up, is going to see us on the camera outside. Cordon also told the dispatcher that her son was missing and she did not know if he had been taken or fled during the attack. When asked by the dispatcher she was in need of medical attention, Cordon says, my face is demolished right now. Okay, so you guys just heard me read, you know what I'm saying, the 911 call and then the statement that they're releasing today. You know, at first she was so sure, she knew her ex-boyfriend had something to do with it, even stated he was watching everything go down through the cameras. But now, as of today, she's not sure and she needs more proof, okay? But what I find really interesting, while y'all was running to his page to convict him, while y'all was running to be judge, jury, and executioner, and sending this man death threats and wishing him death without knowing if this Instagram thought was lying or being honest, okay? Do you guys know that it's now been revealed that in 2017, he caught the police on her? This woman is a squatter, okay? He's been trying to get this woman evicted out of his home for the past year. And this woman is refusing to leave. They were borrowing that jewelry from a jeweler in their um, community who basically lent them the jewelry to wear at events. She was supposed to give the jewelry back. She refused to give it back. At that point, he called the police. And a year ago, he told the police that this girl might make up something to get him in trouble because she knows how the NFL feels about domestic abuse. I'm going to go ahead and read to you guys this police report that TMZ was able to find. Check this out. Okay, so this is what TMZ is reporting. They're saying the most interesting incident took place on July 3rd, 2017, when the NFL star called the Milton Police Department to the home after a domestic dispute with Cordon. When the police arrived, they saw McCoy standing in front of a large mound of Dee's clothes, and he explained that they had been having issues and had broken up after she accused him of cheating on her. Then McCoy brought up the issue of the jury, and here's a quote from the police incident report. He went on to advise us that jewelers 
oftentimes loan high-end jewelry items to wear for events. He stated that Cordon had some of these jewelry items and had not returned them. He stated that he has asked her multiple times for them, but she has not returned them. According to the police report, McCoy expressed serious concern that Cordon might make false accusations about him. He stated that he was trying to be very careful about being around her, given the climate of domestic abuse in his profession. The cops eventually spoke to Cordon at that time, and neither party made any allegations of physical abuse. The case could be relevant since Cordon claims that the assailant broke into her home and pistol whipped her on July 10, 2018 and demanded the specific items of jewelry. Cordon told the police that she believed McCoy was behind the attack. All right, so you guys just heard me read the police report from last year. So like I said, I'm not buying this entire situation. Something ain't cleaning the damn buttermilk, okay? My thing is that this guy is so abusive and he's been abusing you. Why have you not left? This woman was literally a squatter in his home. There are court papers showing that he's been trying to get her evicted. She has two kids by two different guys and she had the nerve to move her children in with this man, okay? So she has her children living there in his home and he doesn't want her there. He wants her and her kids to leave and she's refusing to leave. Somebody pistol whipped her, but I don't know if it was LaShawn. So what's to say that she may not be behind this attack to try and ruin his reputation, to keep the jury, to get some money? Because she knows that once they break up they're not married so she's not you know she's not legally obligated to anything so she can ruin his career in the process or you know blackmail him that might be what she's trying to do but this entire situation makes no sense to me and like I said everything sounded funny because if they knew that this man was abusing this child and was beating on a child why were they not calling the police when the child was getting his ass whooped so it's okay for the child to get beat it's okay for the dog to get beat but then when she gets her ass beat that's where y'all draw the line I mean what kind of shit is that so my personal opinion, I'm not buying this story, and especially now that she's trying to backtrack because she probably knows that there's going to be some serious consequences if it comes out that she's lying or she's behind any of this foolishness. And so now she's trying to clean up the story and play crazy. But again, this is my personal opinion. I'm sure y'all would be in the comment section saying that I'm victim shaming and, you know, female shaming and all that other bullshit. But I'm sorry. I'm not going to jump on every Instagram thought slash model, whatever you want to call these people. I'm not going to jump on their bandwagon just because they say this is what happened. Okay, because so many times they claim one thing and then when the truth comes out, it's a whole nother situation. So the reason why I took so long to do this video, because I've literally been waiting days upon days for more information to come out. And when I knew that the police report was being leaked out by TMZ, I figured it was only a matter of time before the police audio would be out. And the police audio finally came out today. So I'm going to go ahead and include the audio in this video. I want you guys to go ahead and check out the police audio of LaShawn calling the police on Alicia a year ago in July after she refused to leave his home. Go ahead and check this out. 911, what is the address of your emergency? Okay, tell me exactly what happened. I have a young lady that uh, she's stealing stuff out of my home. She won't leave. Um, you know, we were together for a little bit and like five, six months. I let her go like two weeks ago. I've been trying to be cordial with her, but it's not working. She's taking belongings of mine. She's trying to pick a fight. You know, I left out. So she just left my home. I'm about to lock my doors. I'm putting her stuff, all her valuables, outside of my home. I don't want no fights. I want to call the cops over there. Everything is safe. Okay, one moment while I update this, okay? Alright. Yep. Uh, ma'am, I'm an NFL player. Now? I'm an NFL player, ma'am. I don't want no. I'm sorry, what was that? I play for I play for the Buffalo Bills for the NFL, and I, I don't want no drama. I just want to get out my home safely. Okay, sir, are you at that location now? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Can you please sit to my okay. office as soon as possible? Yes, sir. I have to gather some information from my office. My partner's going to start someone, but I need to gather some more information, okay? All right. Thank you so much. Okay. What, sir, when did this happen? I mean, it's been happening for the last couple of days. I mean, she, she followed me out. Uh, okay, when's the last time she was there, sir? She just left by an hour ago. Okay, one moment while I have did this. Okay, is the person in the area? I'm not sure, man. She probably, she probably, oh. she probably like 20 minutes away. Do you see or hear anyone now? About what? Do you see or hear anyone now? No. 
I'll okay, see her thank you. What is the disturbance, physical or verbal? Uh, she's like verbal. She didn't get physical. I didn't get physical with her because okay. I was left. Does right. anyone need medical attention? No. Okay, thank you. One moment while I update this. One moment. Okay, if it's safe to do so, continue to separate yourself from her and avoid further contact. Lock your doors and windows. If the person returns, do not let her in and tell me immediately. Do not disturb anything at the scene. An officer will be dispatched as soon as possible. Um, and just to clarify, she was last there an hour ago? Yes. Yeah. Maybe like 30, okay. 40 minutes ago. Okay. We're going to have an doors. officer. Okay, we're going to have an officer out there as soon as possible, okay? Could you bring more than um, one, please? Um, there's going to be two officers responding, okay? Thank you so much. Thank you so okay, much. Okay, sir, um, what vehicle is she going to be driving? Okay, and can I get her description? We're going to have an officer out there as soon as possible. Call us back if anything changes, if you need further information, okay? All right, thank you. All right, so you guys just heard that audio. So like I said, it says a lot. Personally, I don't know who whooped this girl's ass. I'm not sure what's going on, but I definitely feel like there's more to the story. And I also want to say this, that a lot of guys, especially celebrities and, you know, athletes and stuff like that, they fall for these beautiful model types, IG model types, and they just go off of the external beauty without really delving into who that person is, okay? Okay. This woman has been involved in drama prior on social media. She used to be she used to be with Michael Vick's brother. They have a child together. And supposedly he broke up with her because she was creeping with Floyd Mayweather. I remember a few years ago when this video went viral on social media. <laughs> So she herself has been attached to like different drama periodically throughout her social media life. Um, he has never been attached to anything. LaShawn plays his damn football games and, you know, he posts some pictures on Instagram and he keeps it damn moving, okay? That's why I say a lot of times you can't jump on these social media hate trains and just jump on, you know, what's trending and run and attack people without knowing the full story. I know there's some of y'all mush mouth motherfuckers in my comment section who swear up and down that I'm always attacking the black man and she's trying to bring down the black man and all that mush mouth shit. No, the only black dude I call out are the ones who are on fuck shit like T.I. and Snoop Dogg okay if I see somebody who is getting accused of something unjustly especially before all the facts have come out I'm going to state both sides of the story so it has nothing to do with me attacking black men or bringing down black men if that's the case why didn't I run with this story and throw him all the way under the bus and only side with her and to me his character is very different from that of a T.I. or a Snoop Dogg he does not have the same character I'm not saying that he couldn't have been abusive or that he didn't have anything to do with this but what I'm saying is that her character looks a lot more shady than his character because there's court documents proving that he's been trying to get her evicted from his home. He broke up with her months ago. She started being a squatter. She refused to leave. So I don't know if this is something that was planned, but at the end of the day, I'm going to go ahead and let the courts do their job. So I will let the courts do their job. In the meantime, I'm putting this out there to let you guys know that there's definitely more to the story and something's not cleaning the buttermilk, okay? Because if this man was so abusive, you should have got the hell up out of his home, especially with your children, okay? So what type of mother is she to sit there and put up with the bullshit? And what type of friends does she have to sit there and put up with the bullshit? The reason why she put up with the bullshit is because she likes the lifestyle. She likes what the lifestyle was affording her. She liked the fact that she was tied to this NFL baller so she could live this lifestyle for the gram. Anyways, y'all, I'm done with this damn story. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, concerning LaShawn and Delicia, how do you guys feel about this updated information? How do you feel about her now trying to slightly backtrack and say that she doesn't know if he did it? She's waiting for more evidence. And then also, how do you feel about the fact that he called the police on her a year ago and basically stated that she may do this? And yes, I do understand there could be a probability where he told the police that and then a year later he wanted to set her up, but I highly doubt that. He doesn't need that type of, you know, reputation. He doesn't need that befalling him, especially being that the NFL is not playing anymore. I don't see him putting his NFL career and his money on the line for this damn chick, okay? So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, 
definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.